I ate his liver with fava beans and a nice Chianti. Not today, Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs, because you're watching Growing and Eating Plants in Yoga Pants. We're not serial killers. We grow our own food, but we are going to harvest some fava beans. So, today, I've actually learned a lot about fava beans. There's five things I really love about these beans. First, they are an ancient bean, very old. It dates back 6, 000, to 6,000 BC. Actually, they have found some of these beans in an Egyptian tomb. So these are some really old, ancient, cultivated plants. The other things I like about this plant are the fact that you can eat the leaves. And if you decide to eat the leaves and not the beans, you really should use these plants as a nitrogen fixer for the earth. So like other beans, these beans pull the nitrogen from deep from the earth and then give that nitrogen to the next crop that you plant. We're not going to do that because I wanted to eat the beans. Even though I've never had fava beans before, I wanted to harvest these. Now I have a really small crop. Um, this is the first year for this garden and this is the first year for these beans in this garden. I've gardened forever but I just recently moved out into this larger area. So they not only fix the nitrogen, the other wonderful thing about these beans is that um, they grow to be about two to five feet tall and probably need to have something behind them for them to lean on. Now mine don't, but I did have the problem with them falling over and laying on the ground, which I found out that they can be used as a ground cover, so that's totally okay if you wanna do that. Um, the other thing that I really love about these is that I'm a little bit of a lazy gardener and I really don't like to come cover my, my garden when it gets to, uh, to the freezing point. And these guys can last or live through a 16 degree freeze. Now here in Texas, Central Texas, we're in Bastrop. Uh, this actually did happen last year. I didn't cover and it got down to 16 degrees and we, none of our kale froze. So I, now I'm considering this plant as spectacular as kale at this point. Plus it has a ton of protein as a bean does. So, if you want to come on over here closer, I will show you how to harvest these. And we're going to harvest for the bean. And then I've heard that the bean actually is really good in a risotto. My husband loves to cook risotto. So maybe we can talk him into doing this or maybe I'll do it in, in another video. Now, the downside of these beans is that they are pretty labor intensive for the amount that, you, it, that is produced. So, that, in other words, it's not going to give you a lot of beans and you're going to have to have a lot of work to get, get the beans. So, what you want to do is you want to wait, if you're going to harvest for the beans, you want to wait till they're about six to eight inches long and then that you can feel the bean in the seed. You can harvest these smaller and just eat them like you would a, a green bean and snap the ends off. So this, I have to be honest, is probably over the time of harvesting, but we're gonna harvest it anyway. So basically you're just gonna go through and you're gonna cut off all the beans off the stalk. Oh, and another wonderful thing that I did not tell you earlier is that these plants have a beautiful, this is the beginning of a flower, so I probably won't cut that one. These have a beautiful flower that is black and white, and it reminds me of an orchid, that also attracts the bees. Bees are good for the garden, they're good for the environment, so that's a great thing. And there's our friend, the caterpillar. So you notice he's eating the, eating the leaves. We don't want that, but I'm gonna leave him there because once I harvest all these beans, I'm gonna take these plants down. Um, and he's not on the one that I want to leave. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to go through and you're just going to harvest like this. Now, if you are cultivating the seed for next year's season, 
you want to wait for these to dry out and when they you can leave them on the on the plant they'll dry out and they'll turn brown and then you, <clears throat> you can use those to plant for the next season so in looking at these like I said these are pretty labor intensive I'm gonna put these down since I don't have a, a hand actually let's look at this one So we're going to snap off the ends and we're going to open them Ooh, to reveal the fava bean. How beautiful. Now, <clears throat> these are fresh fava beans, so you're going to want to eat these quickly. And you don't want to harvest these and leave them in the pod because the pod may mold. So you want to ultimately get them out of the pod. So you might be thinking, oh, what do I do now? I can't eat these. Can I eat these now? Actually, you can't eat these straight. I did the other night and it didn't taste bitter to me, but I've heard that they can be bitter this way. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to boil these little guys for about a minute so flash boil them and the skin around this is going to get soft and you're going to peel that off then you're going to be able to cook them however you choose so as you can see they can be a little labor intensive um, I mean look I've got this many plants and I get this many beans so I probably will get one meal out of these beans but next year we're going to grow a little, lot more so after, like I said, after a harvest, I'm going to just cut this off at the base of the plant. So if you notice, I'm going to come down here. This one has no more on it. Um, <clears throat> if you want to eat the leaves, this part is the tender part. So let's just go ahead and cut those off too. Maybe we'll try that tonight as well. So I'm going to cut off the top part. These leaves can go in salad. And I will continue to do that for the rest of these beans and then maybe you will catch me in another video cooking these fava beans minus the liver right so if you like this video please subscribe below there's a subscribe button and right next to it there's a little bell which is a notification button so that way you'll be notified if I post any new videos and remember you're watching growing and eating plants in yoga pants with Rebecca Birdwell at my yoga barn see you on the garden see you in the kitchen or see you on the yoga mat bye